So I'm here getting ready for the New York Maker Fair, and I'll go ahead and show you guys my display. Here's what I have so far, um, and you can see my 3D principle designs, all designed with Fusion 360, which, by the way, there will be a link below on how to get my uh, course and step-by-step -step instructions on designing each one of these. But I realized um, I got these business cards made, and I have nowhere to, to put them, and I just don't really want to leave them like that. So I thought, hey, I need a business card holder. So I went ahead and quickly designed and printed this little guy here. Uh, you can see a little side profile. But this works great. So now I can just go ahead and throw my business cards there, and I made it uh, orange, or printed it in orange to match my little stripe on my cards. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and just do a very quick tutorial showing how I designed this in Fusion 360. And that way you guys can make your own. All right, let's do it. All right, let's begin designing our business card holder. I will be moving fairly quickly through this design. Um, it's not meant to be a very thorough step-by-step -step guide. I do have a link below to my video course, which will move a lot slower and um, is more of a step-by-step -step in explaining every feature. So if you're interested in that, click below and it'll take you to my Udemy page where you can download my course. But let's go ahead and begin. So basically I'm going to start with a sketch on the XY plane and I'm going to do most of the drawing here with the spline tool. So I'll grab the spline tool and I'm just going to start at the origin. I'm going to go up to about, you know, 50 uh, millimeters or so and just basically create a nice little wave like this. Now I'm going to add some more edges to this uh, spline so that I can have a little more control. So I'm going to go to insert spline point. I'll add one here and one here. And I'm going to move these around to give me more of a shape I'm looking for. So just a quick adjustment of these points. And this this is pretty much it. I mean, I can kind of grab these handles and move these around a little bit. Um, but I'll do slight tweaking here. Um, and that's basically the bulk of the sketching I'm going to do. Um, because next I'm just going to go ahead and uh, offset this. So you can play around with this, um, you know, getting the shape you're looking for. Um, you know, feel free to move this around and you can spend a lot of time with this. But basically, all I want to do is get get just a sort of profile because now I'm going to go ahead and um, offset this. So, grab my offset. You can give it whatever, whatever thickness you want. I'm just going to go with a negative two millimeters. And then I'm going to just kind of round off this corner here and close off this edge here as well. Um, I'll just draw a line going across and then I'm just going to click on this line and go ahead and choose extend and then grab my trim tool just to cut off this line here. Um, and that's the basic profile I'm going to use. So I'm going to now take this and extrude it. I'm just going to extrude it out about, uh, um, actually I'm going to do, do 100 millimeters. Okay, and there we go. I mean, how easy was that? Um, next, I'm just going to close off this edge here and also this edge to keep the business cards from sliding off. And so I'll do that by creating a sketch here. So I will create sketch and choose this side plane. I'm going to grab my line tool and I'll just grab a line, draw it across. Um, I know that line is crooked, so I'm going to go in and use my uh, horizontal slash vertical constraint to make it horizontal. And then I'm going to take this line and just extrude it in one millimeter. Actually, I want to do negative one so that it goes in. And I'm going to want join and click OK. All right, that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And instead of redrawing it, I'm just going to mirror it. So I'm going to go ahead and create an offset. Actually, not an offset. I want a mid plane. And I'm going to choose this 
edge along with this edge here and that gives me that mid plane and I'll go ahead and choose create a mirror and I'm gonna choose as far as my object I'm gonna have it on pattern feature so I'm gonna go ahead and choose um, my extrude feature and choose my mirror plane and click OK and there's my other side I'm gonna go ahead and take off this construction plane so that looks good I can give this a little bit of a fillet here along with this guy let's bring this up oh, a two millimeter fillet okay and that's basically it um, you know very quick easy design for a business card holder um, I will go ahead I think I'm gonna print this well yeah I'm gonna um, print this in orange sort of an orange color and I'll just show you really quick on adding um, appearances to it so I'm gonna right click on body and go down to appearance uh, just to get an idea of how it's gonna look you know I can go me collapse these so I'm gonna choose plastic uh, opaque and I can choose one of these colors they have here but let's say for example let me see I, I can drag yellow but yellow is not really what I want I can change this by double clicking here and selecting you know moving these sliders here to give it more of, of an orange color that I was looking for and click done and that way you can preview it ahead of time to see if it's you know if the color you picked is going to work okay so that's it quick um, quick little tutorial on designing your own business card um, again click on the link below if you uh, want to get a, um, a view of my uh, course or take a look at purchasing my course through Udemy there's 10 different designs that are very practical and functional designs that I go through step by step uh, and how to um, in Fusion 360 all right guys take care Actually, I'll go ahead and just show um, quickly how I would send this to the printer. So I'm going to go to Make 3D Print, uh, select it, and I'm going to print this on my MakerBot. So I'll click OK. And you can see um, this is exactly the orientation I'm going to want to set it when I print it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and center it. Um, usually I just will pick Auto Layout and it'll put it right in the middle for me. And you can see when it's printing this part here it's going to have to create a little bridge um, which it should be able to handle that fine um, without drooping so um, yeah as far as settings I, I think I'm just going to keep this on the default I'm um, going to use 0.2 millimeters 20% infill I'm using PLA um, so there we go um, go ahead and send this to the printer and if you uh, make sure you position it this way um, that you know it's going to provide for the best orientation to print it all right take care Thank you.